there, survivors. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I'm the Immortal Adrian, and we're doing From the Beginning. Now, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to tame a Ichthyosaurus, which is a seagoing creature. It's a tame that we can ride around underwater, and uh, they're very friendly. And these are what's called a passive tame. We haven't done a passive tame yet. A passive tame means that instead of knocking it out to tame it, we feed it, friendly-like. I'm making a sickle, a metal sickle. We use this to get the bait. And the bait is fish. Let's just get rid of the stuff I don't need. I'll put the sickle down in here. Slot six. And let's just duck our heads underwater and have a little look. And we have to keep our eye on the oxygen tank. You notice the oxygen tank appears once we're underwater. And the more oxygen points we've got, the longer we can stay underwater. Now, what we've got to watch out for are Piranha and Megalodon. There's a Megalodon in front of us. You may or may not be able to see that. And I can't see any Piranhas just yet but I like to stick fairly close. I'm running out of oxygen, so I'll just as soon as we run out of oxygen, we just get our head above water, and now we're good. So we've got to catch some fish first, and that's what we use to feed the Ichthyosaurus with. Now, the Ichthyosaurus is a bit like a dolphin. Let's try that one more time, one more time. Come on, and... that. Got him. Right, now I got 28 raw fish and two raw prime fish. Okay, here I'm back again. Now I've had to spend the last 10 minutes looking around. I've actually come across to um, back to our old base, back to the peninsula where our old base is, um, because this is where I've managed to find one. Here it is, male Ichthyosaurus. I'll just put my weapon away. Now, as you can see, it says put taming food in last slot to feed. So if I go I and put some meat, oh, all my prime meat has gone. So, And now it gives me the option E to feed raw fish. Right, now I hit the E key. He ate some and now we're on the way. Taming is at 27%. Now, sometimes they swim away and sometimes they don't. Let me just get a breath of air. For some reason, he's not swimming away. He's just hanging around, which is, well, spoke too soon, perhaps. Okay, Piranha. We can deal with him now because we've got the right weapons. Pike is the best thing to get a Piranha with. Come on. And he's down. I don't know if I'm going to... I'll use my sickle because I might be able to get a bit of prime fish out of him. No. Okay, so I'll, I'll just keep this guy in check. Keep my head underwater so I can see if there's any piranha coming. And when we get the E again, there it is. That's the second go. We're over 55% now. I'm going to swap my tool over to the pike in case any piranhas come because there are piranha in the water here. And there's a stingray over there. There he is. So he, he will give us a hard time. He will definitely attack us. We don't want to go over there. We hope our Ichthyosaurus doesn't go over there. He again. Come on. There. 83%. One more and he's ours. But we do have to be careful because once he's tamed, he then becomes prey. Everything kind of start trying to attack him. The sharks will attack him. The piranhas will attack him. The stingrays will attack him. The spinosaurus will attack him. Oh, he's off. Come on, don't go away. Oh, drowning. Okay, is he coming back? Yeah, he's coming back. And we 
have to build a saddle for him. Otherwise, if we don't build a saddle, then we can't ride him. We'll have to get him to follow us. Right, here he comes. Oh, there he goes. Come on, one more. And here he comes, and E. Got him. I'm going to call him Itchy, or her, whatever. Right. There, Itchy, following Adrian. Now, we have to be careful because, apart from drowning, um, this Stingray is likely to want to give our Itchy a hard time. Now, let me just see what's involved um, in a saddle for this. Now I see Itchasaurus saddle, 10 metal, hide 55. That's not too much. 10 metal seems to be the biggest concern. So, right, let's just set him to stop following me for a start so that I can then come down here and grab a bit of metal. One, I just want 10 metal. It's two, three, four, seven, nine, ten. Right, stone we don't need. Dump that. Now, um, it just saw a saddle. Where is that? Here. Five of fifty, hide fifty five, wood twenty. Um, what have we got? Wood twenty. It should be pretty easy. There it is. And we've probably got some stuff back in our old base here. Now, there might be a little bit of hide. I can't remember. I th no, I think I probably took all the hide away, didn't I? Let's just have a look. Nothing there. Nothing there. But there's fibre, so that'll save that little issue. Uh, we want 50 fibre. Okay, so we just need a little bit more, we just need a little bit of hide, and we're good. Let's have a look around, see where the hide is. Ah, there's a parasol, right. He's our victim. Oh, it's a tech parasaur. I'm not going to get any hide from him, but we will get metal and oil from him. So I'm going to take him anyway, and we get scrap metal and oil and electronics from him, which is useful in a later stage of the game, but doesn't solve our immediate problem. This guy will, though. So I killed the Dillo first, because if I didn't, the Dillo would have killed the Lysaurus and uh, the Lystrosaurus and taken everything. So we've got 47 hide there, just need a little bit more. Dodo bird will do it. It's starving. That Spino's still across the water there. We're out of his range here, so it's not a problem. Okay, here's a trilobite. Just while I'm here, I know I'm digressing, but still, trilobites were well worth it because he also has oil, and occasionally you can get pearls. And pearls are important. I've got one silica pearl, got four pearls, and 77 chitin. And chitin is very useful. Right, here we go. Oh, that spino's coming over. I oh, know he's just having to swim around. Right, we've got 20 hide. Right, let's just get away from this spino. These party dodos don't give anything except cake slice, I've discovered. Let me have a look. At the hide situation, 67. Would it be say 55? Yes, right, we can have that saddle. And that's what we're looking for. Now, 
So we're just going to saddle this guy up and then we're going to ride him back to our base and then I'm going to park him and then I'm going to build an underwater pen. Now this pen is to keep the piranha out, keep the megalodon out, keep any of the predators out that might want to do our guy damage. And that's just like building an ordinary pen except you do it underwater. So I'll just have a drink. Not sure how long the video's been going now, but um, we tamed an ichthyosaurus. We can now drive around underwater. This one's for you, Nick. Equip with a saddle. Hope you can carry our weight. Jump on, and how do we go? Yes, and look at the speed. This is what I like. We can zoom around. Right, we're in the deep ocean and there's a shark but these guys are actually faster than the sharks now here's an oil node we'll be talking about oil later on these jellyfish stay well away from them because they, if they even touch you they'll sting you paralyze you and you won't be able to do anything I'm taking a wide berth I'm going through the middle of the ocean here what's the matter you good what's up flipper So there's our raft, there's our base. I'm going to park this up now. I'm going to end the episode here and I'm going to build a, uh, a wet pen while I'm doing the break, just before we go. Now, I had a problem before when I brought my uh, ichthyosaurus in. Um, he immediately got killed by megalodons. And um, so... This is how we need to build a pen. Firstly, what's going on here is I've extended uh, the back of my base here and I've used stone foundations and this is where my garden is. I've done away with the little narco berries and I've built almost to the waterline and I've come out two foundations and I've planted vegetable seeds. So we'll get into that later. There are uh, three vegetables and a fruit and that's... Uh, rock or rot which is carrot, um, long grass which is basically corn and savarit which is basically potato and this thing here that they call citronelle which is like a lemon. So these four need medium crop plots and the berries I'm not worried about, we can always get plenty of berries but the, the vegetables need to be planted. So I thought I'd plant them and put some manure on them. I've started a, a, second, um, a second compost bin so that I've got plenty of fertiliser coming and I've tamed another dodo bird, a female, because I realised both of my dodos so far were males. We need a few females to, to create eggs and eggs are useful. So bear that in mind. If you get an opportunity, tame up a couple of uh, female dodo birds. So this is basically just using the fence foundations and coming out. I've come one, two, three, uh, was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two for the to the gates. I've come out here about seven, and this is how deep you have to go because if it's not deep enough, I came one short before, and I couldn't get my dolphin in because it wasn't deep enough. So come out seven or eight, just to give you an idea how deep it's got to be. And then I've put two gates in. You could probably get away with one gate because these guys are pretty maneuverable. If I open that gate, get on him, and I can turn him around and come out of this gate just as easy as go in. So yeah, you can get away with one gate. But the thing is, you do need him in a pen, otherwise the megalodons will kill him. So I suggest you build this pen before you start taming your ichthyosaur. That's my recommendation to you, and that was why I come in at the end of the video. All right, that's about it. See you again in the next episode when we tame something else.
else. Who knows? Maybe a raptor. See you then.